Honestly, I shouldn't Caught up in my feelings Messed up and I'm sprung Something in your smile that It makes me wanna come over Can I come over? I wanna come over Thinking about your ocean Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep end The waves are washing over I know I'm not sober Can I come closer? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, I'm joined by Kevo, Sir Kelvin, Pale Twitter and today we are doing things a little bit different we're actually shooting these from the Tanzanian side of the Namanga border and I'm really really excited it's been a very fantastic road drive, uh, sorry, road trip today we are seated in the beautiful cabin of a 2015 Audi A6 C7.5 and I really want to thank you for the support which you've given us. I want to thank you for the positive feedback. And um, I know you're wondering, how did you even get to the Tanzanian? Uh, how, how did you get to the Tanzanian? Uh, how did we get to the Tanzanian side? Sorry, yeah. a lady came and knocked on my door <laughs> and kind of distracted me. <laughs> I really fear Tanzanian cops, baby. So I know you guys are wondering how like we got to this particular point and that will be the subject of uh, today's episode. So we drove from Nairobi all the way to Namanga, very interesting road trip, I've enjoyed that road and um, let's Abel Mutua. Let's uh, to rewind. Asmanga, yeah. yeah. Asmanga. Kula pause. Kula pause. Yeah, he says that. Kula pause. Turudi nyuma. Yeah. So anyway, before we rewind, I wanna thank today's sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Norton Mobile Security, which is an app you must have on that mobile device of yours. You need, you need to protect your passwords. You need to protect all the all all those. Uh, I don't want to say those bad videos, but all that information you put in your phone has to be protected and the not on mobile security app does that for you for only kenya shillings 350 shillings uh 350 and i want to thank Norton for really supporting us as we do these videos as we travel through kenya and right now we're actually in tanzania they've been quite supportive to our course so head over to norton.co.ke and make sure you install that app on your mobile device sasa does the same that thing cooler pause rewind, rewind. <laughs> So today's journey starts from the Kai and Karo showroom. Maybe. Yeah. Kai and Karo is one of is a, is a business actually founded last year after I left uh, Imports Bekero after that nasty showdown. And um, it's doing very well. We're very happy. We mostly do a lot of uh, car imports. And um, this Audi A6 C7.5, which is quite rare by the way, is one of the, is one of the first units I actually brought sure. under, under, under Kai and Karo. And we pride ourselves in being a, we're like a gourmet restaurant of sorts. If the cars that you're not going to find anywhere online in this out of Kujauku. If you want if you want an A6 with some unique features that you can't really just find anywhere, if you want us to buy something from the Japanese auction for you, those are the sort of jobs we love taking. And our rates are basically only 3.5% on the total cost. Yeah. Very transparent, very straightforward people. We are honest men. <laughs> honest, what was oh, honest, 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 uh, today our route will be basically uh, using the expressway from uh, what's it called from Museum Hill all the way to Mlolongo. Then from Mlolongo we turn off the Mombasa Road, then we join the Namanga Road, all the way to Kitengela, past Kitengela, all those towns in Rubisil, all those zote. 
then our destination will be Namanga. So we hope you'll enjoy the ride today. We are in the A6 as a Mesema, the rear one, C7.5. The C7.5, yeah. most of you are not the C7, but now this is the C7.5. C7.5. It's quite yeah. interesting because uh, one of the things I loved about the C7, C7.5, I bought this one in Japan, in person, literally. I went to Japan last year when actually that whole IBK yeah. drama was going down. Yeah. That's when we actually we, we actually bought this car. That's that's so it's it's a very very unique ride. And one thing I, I love about it is the engine. You see, the older C7 Audis have a it's called the second generation. It's called a, uh, let me not mix myself up. <laughs> I know they run a CDN code engine. CDN. Uh -huh. Na zingine, zingine zina kwangana ile engine ya 2800cc, yes. the FSI Nantabo. Yeah, no. But this one, the yeah, no, this is, these, are, these, are, these are TFSI, E888, mm -hmm. that generation. Yeah. The code probably should be the CNC, which is the, sort, the same engine we find on the Golf R. Exactly. Same engine we find on the GTI. <laughs> Porsche Macan, yeah. Audi Q5. And it's and a 2 liter because the bro, C7s eh? they mostly came in the 3 liter. Yeah, uh, V6s. Yeah, kuna three, there's actually the 3 liter V6 supercharged, which is also rare. Which is a, there's a 2.8 V6. Yes, well. yes, yes. And then there's a yeah. 2.8 V6. Yeah. And then now there's the 2 liter CDN. Especially, and most of them were from Singapore actually. Oh. Yeah, a lot of them were, we bought a lot of those cars in Singapore, this, yeah. the, the CDN. So Leo, we are driving an E3. I don't think anybody in Kenya has reviewed this car. Because, Nobody has that Because that I was going through the cars then, with Kanoti, we tell the E8 Yeah. And I was like, Okay, your engine, it's not common with Audi. It's yeah. It's common with the Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually used <laughs> mostly by the... I normally see it on a lot of Volkswagens. Even mm -hmm. even the yeah the Golf R, the GTI. Sure. So excellent engine. So we are ready to go. We'll probably use the... It was Makiambu Road, then Expressway. Yeah. I'm at PTA, Barabara Uh, I think uh, Expressway is a bit uh, faster. Because, Smoother, eh? As we notice, uh, we are a bit running late on time. So. Okay, so, so I'm always late for these road trips. I don't know why. Yeah, no, chalewa. Mu chalewa, mu chalewa, I don't know. Jana, Jana was a Friday, so... <laughs> yeah, so, so, uh, watch a bus if we load up. And uh, thanks a lot for taking your time to watch this video. Sure. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't watched the previous one which you did for Ulkalao, after this video is done, on the left swing, who come who check it out. Masi de sewa neti to all kalao. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safe keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cockpit of the Audi A6. Now, um, I'm an Audi owner. I've owned Audis, I think, for the past two years and driven them every day as a, you know, I'm owning from the perspective of being a daily driver. So I'm quite familiar with these cars. And uh, this is one of those road trips where I'm not driving a vehicle that I'm very unfamiliar with, like has been the case with the Cayenne or the Audi A6 or the A1 ET, which you drove last time with the Kevo. So let's start from this section over here. So the A6 is actually supposed to compete with vehicles like the BMW 5 Series, uh, vehicles the, like the Mercedes C-Class and the Toyota Crown. So it's quite big, it's quite wide, but not as big as the as the S-Class or as big as the 7 Series or the A8. So it belongs to a category called the mid-size uh, mid luxury category. And um, first thing you'll notice is the fact that this particular Audi A6 has a very nice wood trim to it. Very dark wood and um, it's complemented by a bit of uh, that uh, silver metal uh, me metallic finish and um it doesn't feel very complicated so right over here you have the window controls the child lock function on the audi a6 is controlled by a button so unlike what you'd see on a cayenne or unlike what you'd see on the maybe on the mercedes a1 where you have to go and lock the doors individually on the a6 they they they, they take it a notch higher, basically a button like that and it's able to control to restrict the child from accessing the windows and accessing the doors uh, something else you have the side mirror adjustment button over here so it gives you the option of retracting the side mirror there's the option of uh, adjusting it you basically adjust it like this and at the center over here there's a heating option which which comes in handy uh, during those cold days or when you're driving through heavy rain the sound system on this vehicle is boss let me open the door and i'll show you the logo so you have a boss sound system uh, which i mean you get a very good surround experience and it feels it it, it kind of massages the ego to know that you're driving a vehicle with a very good sound system the instrument cluster 
is not digital but it has a digital aspect to it and i'm going to show you in a few so the speedometer goes up to 300 kilometers for dramatic effect <laughs> for dramatic effect because there's no way you're going to be driving this car 300 but i've done 200 with this particular audi 6 so it's quite fast and um you can navigate through the these uh, cluster menu using these buttons over here so you can basically do that or oh, fuel tank please refuel immediately we actually we do actually don't have any fuel so I'm just going to drive to a petrol station almost immediately. And uh, there's the, you have your radio settings over here. As well as here. As well as here. So this one kind of acts like the shortcut or sorts. And you have the nav. So uh, if we were in Japan, we'd be seeing a display of the road, of the, of the road map over here. But unfortunately, that function does not work for Kenya. So you can even see the vehicle is hanging doesn't know what what to display so you have the fuel and you can still access other settings using this button you can scroll down so we've been getting 15 kilometers per hour this is the long-term memory you can you can reset all these values which is what i'm going to do and um these are the error messages so the only error we have is the refuel refuel error oh there's a breaking guard off oil change due an oil change was done but the menu was not was, was not reset this was done actually in japan but um once i once i sell it we're going to basically reset that so let's go over to the yeah we've already talked about the radios and everything we normally get the um it's called what the yeah the the taco and the there's what else is it the touch or the taco mini tanga tacho ni taco meter oh okay kama kama tacos steak same yo taco ngine anyway there's the uh the temperature indication over here it's actually digital so you can see those bars, they represent the individual temperatures. The fuel indication is also normally given the same way. Once we top up the fuel, you're basically going to see that. The 7.5 gets a bigger, gets a bigger, it's called a bigger, a bigger display. I'm seeing something Google over here. I don't know where that's coming from. So I've not really stayed long with this C7.5. So I've not really mastered it completely, but I can take you through the menus. So it has a system called the Audi MMI and you normally access it from this section over here. So we can, uh, let's navigate to the default page, which is the menu page. And the menu page gives you all the options you can access. So it's a very straightforward uh, infotainment system to use, but I'll always keep repeating this, not as good as the one on the BMW. <laughs> I'll always keep repeating that. <laughs> what I gonga, but you I, I, I think uh, BMW did a better job on the iDrive. So there's, you, you, you have the radio settings. So let's go to the tone settings. Tone basically talks about, uh, you know, the, the sound and everything. So you have the Boss Audio Pilot. I don't even know what it does, but I'm assuming the Audio Pilot uh, kind of adjusts your volume and your surround setting depending on the sound, at, uh, de depending on the speed at which you're driving the vehicle at. That's what I'm assuming it does, but I'm not very sure. You have the surround setting over here, so you can have minimum surround, you can have maximum surround. DJs, when you want to watch a video, mm -hmm. you can explain uh, what, what surround does, actually. <laughs> Some of us just buy these cars, but we don't even know what they actually do. Yeah. So, when the balance and the fader, this is pretty, you can focus the sound to one passenger mm -hmm. using this button. I'm just going to dis demonstrate that. So, you can balance. sound Kama ebeba bosi na ataki kelele, unezeka balance, fader we, we, we rudisha ukumbele. So you fade it to the front and then you balance it to one side. Pretty, 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 pretty interesting stuff. But, oh God, someone is calling me. But they really worked hard to improve the, it's called what, to improve the interface. The older C7 doesn't have a very good interface. This one is more user friendly and feels more techish in a way. Uh, treble, that's uh, self-explanatory and the base. And then the other audio systems like the speech dialogue, uh, dialogue system so you can basically tell the vehicle to do something yeah. there's the voice guidance uh, there's the mmi touch volume i don't know what that was or i think new mmi touch but we'll, we'll figure that out uh, these are the parking aids so you can control all these individual uh, volume settings which, which the parking aids will come in handy because you realize there's the 180 yes it was too noisy yeah, yeah so it was actually you want to like reduce that noise just yes 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 it a bit. Uh, so okay let me let me see this one has a it has a reverse camera yeah it has a very good reverse camera and the parking aids are normally illuminated on the front and at, and at the rear so let's go back to the default menu page uh media this is where audi kills it audi gives you so many options of music and uh, it just goes across the line so you have the first of all there's a sd card one so you can have 64 gb of music here another 64 gb of music here and then if you go to the media bado there's a hard disk the vehicle has a hard disk. Let me just see what space is on the hard disk. Uh, 
Andrew Clear. Yes, the hard disk has 10 GB of storage. So if you plug in a USB, you basically copy whatever is on that USB and you store it on the hard disk. So Which I think the DMs on it a jukebox. Jukebox, eh? <laughs> I don't know how it's a jukebox, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, tunde, uh, tunde kwa nini, there's, the, there's, a, there's, a, there's a DVD slot over here. Who still does which, DVDs? Which, which I think uh, this was quite a bit off in the audience because it's a luxury trim. So yeah. why put uh, the, DVD. DVD, it's, the DVD option? It's because of the Japanese market. Japan is a weird place. Uh, Japan people still, uh, people still are so, is so into CDs, yeah. They're still mm -hmm. so into CDs. So for that for that particular market, it makes a lot of sense to have the DVD option. Uh, uh, there's an external audio player. This is interesting. So the external audio player option again works very well for Japan. As I've said, they are they are, they are, they are, they are really into the visuals and whatnot. Eh? So Audi gives them the option of connecting an alternative uh, an, an alternative uh, um, radio because because I've seen a Q5 with rare rare rare, rare screens and that radio is normally stored here. So you can there's normally a, a compartment where you can you can have an extra DVD system. Now meant for the Japanese market. Okay, I'll repeat and say Japan is a very interesting place. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's the Bluetooth connection, of course, that's standard. There's Wi-Fi. There's actually Wi-Fi. So the vehicle can communicate uh, with your phone via Wi-Fi. Which I think it's handy as well. Yeah. Because you see it comes with a... What's it called? The dash cam. Yeah, the dash cam, of course, yeah. Mm, so there's the Wi-Fi deactivated. So turn on Wi-Fi. The reason you have Wi-Fi is, again, the vehicle has a SIM card slot over here. So you can you can have a sim card dedicated to the car and I for powering the the internet and everything uh, wow. quite interesting eh? <laughs> <laughs> let's go back there's a back mm -hmm. button over here um oh yeah, sorry settings so you go up oh source we got the source yeah. so and then there's the tv and then there's the ex external levy input yeah i think so we are done with that so the, yeah there's the external levy input and the external audio player sorry the external audio player is actually the aux and it's right here the aux is somewhere over here yep. there's a usb slot and there's a aux and there's a there's a there's a cable option for connecting your mobile phone like for instance right now i'm, I'm using an iphone i'm able to connect my apple apple it's, 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 it's not actually the apple carplay but the ipod the ipod functionality found on apple phones using this uh, slot which, over which here. i think as well it's uh, quite indicative as you notice mm -hmm. the this one over here the, the, playing the USB, USB yes, 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 yes. Like you can't use this to charge your phone. Yes. But you can use this to charge your phone. To charge your phone and also stream music from your phone via USB. Exactly. And then there's the AUX. So again, this is a unique feature found only on the C7.5. Yeah. You won't find it on the on the, on the on the older A6 models. Yeah. Let's go down over here. I think we are done. Oh, we're still, we are still at the menus. Yeah, so menu navigation, yo, that one we won't talk about it because it doesn't work for Kenyan roads. Yeah, yeah. So, but the the vehicle thinks we are somewhere near uh, in the this is uh, the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, Ocean. Hey. Uh, the car is lost Gary <laughs> 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 so let's go back to menu info info this is mostly traffic information again this doesn't work for Kenyan roads yeah mm. let's go back uh, audio Audi connect is a function that allows you to connect to the internet through the sim card please use Audi connect only in situations where traffic permits use without risk this this kind of dumb because you expect someone really to you expect someone to pay attention to traffic and they're on the internet. No data service is possible, please insert a SIM card, okay. So it can't work. But now, this is where it gets interesting. On the BMW iDrive Connect, uh, sorry, it's called BMW iDrive infotainment system, you can pair your phone and use the internet from your phone. To maneuver. Yeah, to, to, to power the internet on the car. That's where, again, Audi loses some marks to BMW. Ah, so you yeah. really need like a hotspot or something. No, 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 you see this one tells you you need to have a SIM card, I think. Oh, so yeah. in Aguambe you need to have a SIM card. On Audi you don't. Ah, on the BMW you actually ah. don't. You just need to have a solid uh, BM, uh, Bluetooth connection. Ah. The vehicle will pair, the, the vehicle's internet will pair to your phone. It two bundles a SIM. Ah. Very interesting. There's the it's telephone function, yeah. So this one gives you uh, the, uh, the, the ability to store your contacts, you know, to pick calls. And uh, it, uses, it uses Bluetooth. Let's go back. Uh, and then there's the car. This is very, very critical. And this is something the BMW lacks. Oh. Much as they have it, they don't present it. I'm using BMW a lot because uh, I, do, I, do, I, do, I drive a lot of BMWs and, and I drive a lot of Audis. So for the sake of this conversation, also it's also good to note that from my perspective, I feel that the Audi A6 and the BMW 5 Series sit at the top of the mid-size uh, saloon food Sedan. chain. Mimi si Shimu E-Class. I'm just going to say it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't find it special. The but the Audi A6 and the BMW 5 Series push the envelope in terms of comfort, 
in terms of cost peer for the Kenyan market and in terms of performance you notice uh, this car this car is a twin clutch gearbox like, yeah, it's a DCT. yeah it's it's a dct the bmw gets the zf mercedes gets the 7g tronic which does not really compare well in terms of even performance with with these two so anyway these are the different driving modes kuna efficiency kuna comfort efficiency now is for running around the city okay set efficiency okay, the vehicle bus muna say muna wake up <laughs> comfort comfort kind of comfort is like um the vehicle is not slow but it's more uh, it kind of focuses more on the handling of the vehicle the suspension is the suspension soft enough the yes it softens the suspension the steering is light it becomes lighter because this is an electric steering wheel so you can even manipulate how the steering feels uh, uh, so kuna auto auto the vehicle decides based on how you're driving dynamic is for the bad boys like me so dynamic in a priming gari the vehicle becomes very very fast very very responsive what? very very aggressive <laughs> now individual is is when you when you when you don't know what mood you're in so you 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 tell the vehicle what you want it to do so individual we have to set so when i press individual there's the option of setting so i'll set the engine and transmission too you we can we, we can have the engine on dynamic which is like super super aggressive or we can have it a bit laid back on comfort the steering wheel can be on comfort or dynamic and something very critical we didn't talk about the adaptive cruise control. control so you can you can also have it either to be very aggressive like the way the, like if you tell it to maintain 100 kilometers per hour how does it get to 100 kilometers per hour like the autopilot of a plane yeah. you 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 want it you want it you want it to behave in a certain way so even this car gives you that uh, option do you, do you, do, you, do, you, do you want the car to get to speed very very fast do you want it to be a bit lazy so you also set that from here so it's so, like more like you're tuning your vehicle. Yes, yes, yes. You're basically <laughs> tuning your vehicle. Uh, and then there's the setup, uh, the home page where you can control the language, units of measurement. We are, we are in Kenya, so we prefer Celsius, fuel consumption kilometers per liters, volume in uh, in liters. And then there's gallon US and then there's gallon UK. Very confusing. Speech dialogue system, factory setting. So very, very simple, but feels a bit archaic if you compare it to the, to the iDrive. If you take a 2016 BMW 5 Series, Mm -hmm. And you try to compare these info infotainment systems, really? you're going to side with the BMW. Yeah. Because I think the other thing which I think I would be kind of uh, off a bit me is uh, the UI of the infotainment. Like oh. if you look at this user interface. Yeah, it's see, a bit see, friendly, ni boring. Yeah. <laughs> but the BMW one is not. Kun 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 motivate or the one on the Porsche. Yeah, yeah. So I think with that, uh, what's at Wingi Expressway? We've taken a lot of time going through the cockpit. But I hope you guys are happy. The other functions are bad on Mesa Kongelia. Kuna heat. Uh, yes. kuna, kuna heated seats up there's the nice AC over here and um, all these buttons the wood and everything and it's quite spacious I have all my filming equipment up and I don't feel like uh, I'm gari major so let's head out It's a weekend, but there's heavy traffic on Thika Road. Nini fresh out on Thika Road, by the way. I've never understood why guys like Thika Road. Thika Road, one who prefer Thika Road, in a Kaga city, it's one of the easiest way to town, which actually is quite the opposite. It's actually quite the opposite, because there's always so much traffic. <laughs> like, there's, the, the, there's always so much traffic. Like, it's insane. <laughs> And weekend, I mean. Yeah, I've read like uh, chicks from Thika Road, yeah. and they normally tell you like if you want to get to work at 8 a.m., you like have to leave the house at. But uh, before you go, you need separate and asking what to make joke. In the in the it it separates the haves from the have nots. Separate when you know 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 when you probably have to leave the house probably even earlier like Bukoma 7 or something like that because of the you know because of the because of the heavy traffic now i don't even understand like it's a saturday and there's still traffic quite a bit uh, not not something that anyone would want uh -huh. because more now when a traffic uh -huh. and after you're trying to get to work that you have to leave hours early that's going to make get to work uh, i mean no it, it doesn't make sense so anyway we are we are on forest road 
We are driving uh, up Forest Road, then we are going to join the, the, the museum hill exit to the Nairobi Expressway. So we are driving through the parklands uh, local. It's a very beautiful place, very nice. You have the, majest ma ma the, the majestic GTC over there, Those, that tall building. Rumor has it, it's the tallest building in Kenya. That room actually, it, it is. Oh, it is the tallest building in Kenya, yeah. It's the, it's the mighty GTC over there. Yeah. So, Which I think they're the ones who have come with uh, the Marriott group of hotels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because the other, the, other, the other shorter tower. Exactly. Soon by the, it will be under the Marriott. Of course, yeah. Ah, interesting, yeah. There's a nice Sikh temple over here. Oh, by the way, notice what happens when I try to indicate. Eh? There's that blinking on the side mirrors. Yeah, uh, that one, yeah. That's the blind spot. Monitoring, yeah, they the, the one in feature for your blind spots. Because they always say there are many, there are times when you might be driving, you're not able to see someone in the side mirror, but doesn't mean that the person is not there. So the blind spot gives you an extra layer of security. Yeah. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. We're cruising through the Nairobi Expressway and you're saying these guys have put a limit on it. Yeah, actually, I wonder with these guys, uh, on a 20 km 80 kph, well, this road, you can clock uh, 200 to 50 because <laughs> in this 7.5 we are in, it goes up to 300. Yeah, actually, actually it's yeah. a nice, nice stretch where we could test the speed limit and with this car, actually, but... I think, I think uh, the, the reason governments do speed limits, huh? Uh -huh. It's mostly to protect the citizens from their own stupidity. That's what I've come to realize. Because yeah, uh, you'll find, you see, this place is quite capable. Like the, it doesn't struggle. It's quite smooth so far. I'm actually loving it. Yeah. But you see, there's, there's someone who's going to come on this road with a car that has faulty brakes. Of course. Uh, Ali took a driving school two years ago. Shit boxes. Yeah, or you paid. <laughs> <laughs> Double diesel. <laughs> Hey, what was shit mode? Alex Mwanzo. I could not send uh, your jello pee on the express. I could not break in a kata. Boom. Ringia at all station. Yeah, Ringia at all station. <laughs> because one of the main reasons I think you really bring about the limit. Yeah. Because Kenyans were quite fond of uh, knocking down the Mlolongo exit. Yeah, because you know, but I, I think the way they saw this exit so was not very good because mm. it doesn't have very good warnings. Like, I don't know. Okay, uh, assuming someone is doing a hundred, it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. But if you're but if you're really uh, but if you're really cruising with that thing yeah. proper, there's a point where you'll get to and you'll, and you'll be like, no, this guy's actually not going to start. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I think they normally do the speed limit mostly to protect Kenyan. Kenyans from their own, uh, you know, from <laughs> own stupidity. Because you know, their guys, their guys who don't understand about limits, you know, understanding your car. You see someone with a Prado 150, 3000 cc diesel, very powerful, I mean. School my hotel up and then maybe there's a corner so just to minimize that risk. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we're just going past uh, Jomo Kenyatta. It's in uh, runway 06 Valley. So we are we are probably three minutes to Lolongo. Yeah. Then from Lolongo we egg, we proceed towards the river. Yeah. We exit from, from this highway. We said the Nairobi Mombasa Highway is the A1. Uh, the, the, it's the A104. A104. Yeah. So we'll exit from the A104 and then join Namanga. the road that goes to Namanga. Yeah. We're just going past, uh, this should be Mlolongo, isn't it? Yeah, this is Mlolongo. Uh -huh. We are passing Mlolongo, yeah. we are headed towards the river. Then we take our turn to Namanga. Yes, then we take our turn. Oh, yeah, then we go into the road that goes to Namanga. Yeah. I don't know what happens to Nairobi once you go past uh, Jomo, but it just suddenly becomes dusty. <laughs> Kunaga, Texas. It's very, it's very dry. Yeah? It picks up that Kamba vibe. Yeah, it actually Kamba picks vibe. up a Kamba vibe. <laughs> but you know, technically speaking, we're in uh, Machakos County, actually. Yeah, oh. yeah I oh, think. Uh, actually in Mlolongo is in Machakos. So we, in, we can safely say we're in Ukambani. <laughs> uh, we are we are we are literally in Ukambani. So so the exit the exit should be somewhere here. Yeah, you know? It's uh, just uh, opposite immediately opposite uh, the cement. Yeah. We take our turn. Okay. Actually, the, I think that's one of the biggest roundabout, if not the biggest roundabout. Oh, the roundabout under uh, under uh, under Mombasa Road and. Uh, exactly. Hey, okay. But that thing is huge. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, check it out. 
but so far so good i'm loving the audi a6 audi, the audi a6 is, is, is it, it, it like it accelerates effortlessly exactly. it doesn't struggle <laughs> it has a twin clutch gearbox which is uh, which is arguably the fastest shifting gearbox we've ever sampled uh, on these uh, road trip shows yeah let's excuse me i don't want <laughs> I'm touring too much We are doing a lot of uh, trips around Kenya And the goal for me is actually to go to every county in Kenya So we, I think there's a lot of touring to I be done maybe, I think maybe we should plan uh-huh. something like uh, 47 counties maybe in say in like 47 weeks yeah. Or in 47 months Yes Something along those lines we magical Kenya. Na na kujia check wapi. Where am I coming to get my check? <laughs> but Kenya is very beautiful. I mean, forget about everything else. This country is just very very beautiful. And I feel there are so many guys who want to, you know, who would want to uh, experience Kenya in a different way, but they never get the chance. The chance. You know, I don't see a lot of guys doing because a lot of I travel vlogs within here, Kenya. Uh, yeah. A lot of people, rather more, most people, if yeah. not all, they were yeah. so busy with our uh, work lives, you yeah. know, eight to five and nine to five. Yes. No, but uh, the little time we get, you yeah, yeah. relax. You don't know trick, what to yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. You can't yeah. return with your family or something. But yeah, people should tour uh, Kenya. This country, yeah. And, uh, oh, this, this is the roundabout you're saying. It, yeah, this is the. This one. roundabout Kevo is saying is one of the biggest in Kenya. Cause just look at that thing. It's too massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I they've think, tried, they've tried to planting some trees. But this Ukambani doesn't train. <laughs> I feel it's not trees. They're ah, size oh, or that's a size size yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the area, it's too arid. No, mm. no tree, I think, can survive well. <laughs> and, it's, and it's dusty. Was in Kauka. They're dying. Those plants are kind of like dying. It's very, it's very dusty. In, uh, this this side, uh, the river Kitengela, it's very, very dusty. But it's one of the fastest growing uh, estates in Nairobi, exactly. if I'm not wrong. Because they think the major backbone of these areas, uh, yeah. it's a uh, construction industry. If you get to Kitengela, yeah. after every one or two shops, there's a hardware. There's always a hardware, yeah, because gates are always building. Yeah? Exactly, mm. if you are building. I know this, I think, uh, you know, much as uh, Kenyans like complaining, eh? yeah. if you look at the, the rate at which the middle class is growing in Kenya, yeah. there's basically a lot of, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, the economy is actually working. It's only that people will always complain, mm-hmm. but there's there's an aspect of the fact that the economy is actually, there's an accident over here, someone hit someone or something. Yeah. Oh. I don't really need a new bumper. Yeah, so I was saying, like, yeah, uh, if you look at the way the middle class is growing, yeah, yeah. Kenyans are hardworking, generally, yeah. Okay, I, I just feel that the government at times has continuously failed us, especially guys who do SMEs like myself. But we Kenyans love to work. We love starting businesses. We love, we love starting wines and spirits and M-Pesa shops. Exactly. That's, like, yeah. our thing, and hardwares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, Biashara uh, Iko. Anyway, right now we can't. I'm not going to talk about the performance, Sana, but the comfort is awesome. The AC is blowing very well. I'm enjoying the drive. But once we get to an open place, we'll start pushing it. And that's a nice Q5 over there. Chani Mpigi Mata. He's rooted back. How do you people are friendly? We love each other. We have a very nice club. It's headed by a guy called Jush. The the Audi Owners Club. The, yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice club. You can join it. You go there. You make new friends. Very, very nice place. Watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything We're just going past uh, Isinya, Isinya town In fact, there's a road we've just passed that takes you Kiserian. That takes you back to Kiserian, yeah, exactly. yeah So there's a, this town is called, this town is called Isinya, yeah? Isinya, this is Isinya This is Isinya town Before then, we, we drove through uh, Kitengela Hope you guys like the shots. Very nice town. It's growing yeah. quite fast. Sure. Very, very. It's actually a big town. It's not even. Yeah, after town, the city. Yeah, so let me just say, <laughs> Kitengela feels like 
generally we I'm, have like one or four kilometers to Namanga. Oh yeah, we're well, from the from the from the road markets, eh? yeah, yeah. yeah, so Kitengele is a very nice place. Like there are so many shops, so many clubs, especially the clubs. Like the clubs in Kitengele are very, very, very nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, because of the, because most of the uh, boozes and the cattle that they slaughter come from these Maasai sites. Yeah. So I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that the sort of food and the sort of grass stores and the sort of herbs, really? they kind of, yeah, yeah, they, they kind of influence the taste of the meat. That's what I hear. Kinda. I'm not really a, a meat expert, but that's what I hear. So that's I, what I, think, I think it's, it's uh, the same thing as well with uh, goats. Because have you ever been to Mogotio? Mogotio. Mogotio. Place on your way to Ravine, now called a person Nakoru town. Yeah. The, uh, sorry, Nakoru city. It's not. Yes, 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 yes. So there's a place called Mogotio. If there's someone, if you're watching this and you know Koryama, uh-huh. Koryama is a uh, a joint in Yama. Like, uh-huh. I think we should do that road too. Uh-huh. It's on your way Kabarak. You know Kabarak? Yeah, I know Kabarak. So in Kabarak, Ah, interesting. They serve very sweet meat, goat meat, because here, Muzizo ko alzina mafta. Oh, so zina, just, buzi, yeah. zina fanya cardio. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's the same <laughs> thing in Angomeza Huku, yeah. as in after. Ah, interesting. So okay. the meat is not going to be full meat. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So we're going past this. So how many kilometers to Namanga? We, it's called 104, so I think for now it's like 102. 102 kilometers. So yeah. it's like to Kiwa Hapa, it's like driving from Nairobi mm-hmm. to Vasha. Yes. So we still have quite a long way to go. But the beauty about this road is that uh, it's, it's actually Kia. Yeah. The only risk, uh, that's something we didn't mention during the road briefing. Is that you have to look out for pro boxes driven by Masai, and uh, and uh, and actually motorbike guys and uh, and tuk tuks yeah. But tuk tuks are mostly close to the town. But the pro boxes driven by Masai guys in these small towns like Ajado. <laughs> Asante, that guy recognized us. <laughs> Driving past the uh, Kajiado town, Kibondi and Endesha. I'm going to attack this stretch, yeah, I but I'm, I'm going to take control up and I, I feel because uh, this road is so enticing. Heavy. It's very, 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 very beautiful. And it's, it's very, uh, you can easily speed off uh, uh, the road. Uh, so, you can attack the road. Sema! Nikopoa! Uh, those guys are ah, this this Prado guys you know, gonna be, we are heading to the same direction though. Yeah. <laughs> Tanzania is always a vibe. Always a vibe, always a vibe. Yeah. Strangers meet there and become very good friends. Yes, yes. Because yes. Uh, even uh, if you are anyone from Akzela Nation you know, watching this video, uh because the last trip I did to Namanga was with Akzela group. Uh-huh. Uh, they have a group called uh, Akzela Kenya or Nigeria. So yes. Cool guys. Because uh-huh. uh, the first time meeting them and they're very good people. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. So watch, uh, we are we are still on course, probably estimating like uh, 85 kilometers. Yeah, 85 kilometers to yeah. Namanga, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the cruise. kilometers to the town of Namanga, the border town of Namanga, because Namanga actually lies between the border of Kenya and uh, Tanzania. Wait, and uh, sorry? Jumuhuri, uh, oh, Jumia, Jumia ya Mungano wa Tanzania. Eh, Jumuia ya Mungano ni wa Tanzania. <laughs> I've even started seeing filters with Tanzanian plates, so you can even start smelling. Eh, I'm, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already visualizing the beautiful Tanzanian women. <laughs> it's a very nice place. Another thing uh, people will notice that uh, uh-huh. once you approach Tanzania. Uh-huh. The environment kind of changes. Uh-huh. You see, it becomes a bit more lush. Uh-huh. The, the kind of type of soil it becomes more more conducive for growth. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. and whatnot. Yeah. But one thing, anyway, um, 
I've, I've always wondered, you know. It's still on. There's a... Uh, trying to look out for kettle. Oh, okay. So anyway, we've just gone past a town called Neto Ru... Ru... Kumpa. Kumpa. We've just gone past Kumpa. Yeah. And there's that lodge which you showed me. Leruat uh, Log Resort. Leruat? Le 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 Log Resort. And then... Maybe I think we should take your mama to you for some time. <laughs> I mean, I'm single. <laughs> no. I don't have a mumamas. I'm a nipeleke. Actually, it's 59 kilometers. Oh, yeah. Do you know I'm a new man. It was 63, I think. Oh, 63. 63. So now we are at 59 kilometers. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But anyway, so far, so good. I'm loving the Audi A6. One thing you have to love about these Audi cars is the fact that, um, you know, they come with these uh, S Tronic gearbox. And uh, for those who don't know, the S Tronic ni. The S Tronic gearbox simply means the gearbox has two clutches. Uh, dual clutch such that uh, the gear shifts they are so fast and actually this car is uh, the gearbox itself it's uh, it's a speed gearbox if you want speed get a dual clutch gearbox that is the Stronic in the Audis and the DSG and the, the DSG in the Nini yeah and uh, for the for the Porsche guys mm -hmm. they call it the PDK oh yeah exactly yeah, the PDK. PDK yeah yeah so PDK. one thing mm -hmm. with these sort of gearboxes mm -hmm. this is diesel yeah, you know this should be diesel diesel eh? yeah you know ah okay 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 interesting yeah. so essentially what a dual clutch yeah this is actually yeah. so what a dual clutch does uh, first things first is um, you get very quick gear 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 changes eh? exactly. so you'll notice um if you are to drive let's say the five series i swear these gods are going to mess a driver up there's a guy with a prado coming at us <laughs> our friends with a prado in only on boost it our mess anyway i was saying uh wow this looks so let's first take in the view just look at that view Wow, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Be still. Should move here. Kuna kaka kwa. There was a time I had an interview inside one. Eh, uh, ulikuwa mjokuta fanya kazi bisil. Well, uh, the the job I was looking for, uh -huh. officer apparently lives on this side. Asa, ika uh -huh. have kuja all the way to this side. Mtu unakuja na shanga ita wiki kwa. Ina kafiti sana. But anyway, before before I forget and I get carried away with bisil. <laughs> the 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 DSG gearbox, eh? So part of the part of the reason Audi actually gets a bad reputation for gearbox issues eh, is the fact that when these gearboxes started appearing, people never used to understand them. Yeah. So people never used to understand the maintenance, how they work, and um, I think I, I normally say it, it was a bit of a risk on Audi and Volkswagen to install these gearboxes during Apple Ma 2008 2009, because because at that point the technology was not, you know was still in its. Uh, you know, it hadn't really developed to the level where we've gotten now. But the good news is, eh, over time, first of all, Kenyans have understood the technology. So even if you buy a, a DSG gearbox uh, in Kenya right now, there are so many guys who are able to maintain them. Exactly. There are guys like uh, my favorite Audi mechanic, Smith of X Motors. E gearbox mochi one day if it has an issue, and I'm going to be And then something else I also noted: eh, DSG gearboxes are the best if you want to tune your car. Exactly. Because they are, they are able, there are so many kits that are sold on the market, you know, to, 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 to increase the strength of the gearbox, to increase the shifting times, you can actually tune this software on this gearbox. So that kind of flexibility is one of the reasons I'd actually choose, if, if I was to say why an Audi A6 is better than a 5 Series, for instance, or better than a Niklas, the DSG gearbox plays a very huge role. But again, as I've said, on the flip side, you talk to me, uh, you you'll talk to so many Kenyans. They'll tell you, I'm scared of Audi because they have issues. Oh, but if you if you ask them, they'll normally tell you it's because of the, gearbox. it's it's because the stories they've had of the gearbox. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, when they first started appearing on the Volkswagen Golf, on the Volkswagen Passat, on on the on the, on the Audi A4, yeah. zili sumboa tu sana. Because that's what what was zilevi. It's new technology. But now from 2013. Uh, Zimekwa, like these gearboxes are very okay because I've sold so many A5s. The A5 is one of my best selling vehicles, eh? and I've never had a client actually complain about having to do to change anything in the gearbox. But if you're going to buy a 2011 uh, Audi A5, 2011 Audi A6 with this gearbox, it's always keen that you check the mechatronic, ensure that the, the, the brain of the gearbox is in good shape, and change your oil on time. That's another thing that kills these gearboxes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, change your oil in time. So let me just let me just give you a feel. So I'm going to slow down. Um, you know, it's so crazy, Kevo, that I'm doing a hundred and a skinny car I feel like I'm not even driving. Say to go 50. Let me just boost it up to that point. We figure that Prado guy. So that you see the power of the DSG gearbox. So 10 kilometers. Let's go. It's clear. It's a very deserted road. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> We're already at 80. Whoa. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if you get the parts. 
Yes, 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 yes. You can actually hear the DSD fats. Crazy. <laughs> They'll understand. <laughs> Tell any Volkswagen boy DSD fat. I used to own a GTA, it used to do like that kind of Change the gearbox. Brr. Ah, man, like joy to your heart, bro. Like it's crazy. Yeah, so we are, we are cruising nice, we are cruising steadily. I don't know what's the next town. But I um, hope you guys are enjoying the road trip. And uh, let us know in the comments what you would want us to talk about during the next road trip. Sure. But so far, so far, so good. 53 kilometers. Ni mona kabana kengine hapo. Okay, so hi guys, uh, as you can see, we're now at uh, Mailitisa, we are past Ngata Trek. If you are familiar with this route, you know where the Ngata Trek is. We are now at Mailitisa, about 15, 15 kilometers drive now to Namanga border. And uh, basically what I can say about the Audi A6, uh, because it comes in a 2 liter, uh, two liter engine, petrol, that's a TFSI, turbocharged. Uh, uh, what's it called? Fuel stratified. Okay, yeah, exactly. Fuel <laughs> it's a terms in Nichanganyaga, but yeah, it's turbocharged fuel stratified injection, and uh, it's an EA triple eight third generation uh, engine. Engine. So whenever you get uh, such a car, because the, you realize that the A6s came in uh, C7 uh, series, they came as a C7 series, but the one we are in right now, it's a C7.5 which actually means it's a rare one, a rare spec and uh, anyone who drives a Volkswagen will tell you that the EA 888 engine it's actually a really really fast engine solid engine, I had it on my on my Audi, I think I said this earlier mm -hmm. I, ha I had it on my Audi uh, Q5 excellent, excellent, excellent engine. performance because yeah. it gives you that uh, performance that you want and actually I think it's more of a, a risk car <laughs> because I think the one of GTI boys na Golfar boys na Kwaga Masinga because uh, it's a really perfect engine from the Volkswagen and now the Audi now borrowed that. Ama Audi and the Volkswagen do they no, it's the same. You know Audi, Volkswagen and uh -huh. Porsche. Uh -huh. It is the Volkswagen group. Uh -huh. That's why you'll see like the like the Porsche Cayenne for instance. Uh -huh. It's essentially a Q7 or a Touring. Uh -huh. Same platform. Uh -huh. Um the the Audi yeah, the Audi A6, I don't know what it shares. The, the, the fight on was discontinued, eh? mm -hmm. but if it was to exist, they'd probably share a, a chassis with, with this. The Audi A5 and the A4 is basically the VW Passat. You see, oh. there's a, yeah, oh. there's a, there's a like lot of uh, similarity across the, mm -hmm. across the Volkswagen line. It's very beautiful on that side. Of course. Uh, it looks like there's a, there's a heavy mountain range of sorts. I don't know what mountain it is. <laughs> that just goes to show you how big Kenya is. Very you imagine big. that we've been doing these road trips. We see so many hills. Mm -hmm. And this uh, maybe maybe they even uh, you know wild uh, wild animal zuko, but you, but we don't even know it. Because uh, I'd expect that to be called Mount Mount Namanga. I've never heard of it, <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that it actually exists. Uh, yeah. Very very interesting. Yes. Yeah. So the A6 itself, as you can see on the dashboard, up really nice uh, cluster. The uh, it, it redlines at seven seven thousand RPMs, goes up to three hundred kph. And uh, as well as the driving modes, as uh, you heard earlier, we have the four driving modes. We have uh, economical, we have uh, individual, we have uh, sport mode, and comfort. But there's something, something interesting. Mm -hmm. You actually, when when I was driving and Kevo was going through the car, mm -hmm. there's something you, he discovered that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> First of all, this car has the active lane assist. Yeah. Basically, what the lane assist does is that the steering wheel vibrates. It does has it has that vibration Polish. and it's able to bring you back to the lane. Exactly. Very, very, <laughs> some very, very crazy time. Something else over here. Uh, there's the. It's called the Audi side assist. No, we already talked, talked about that. There's something else I saw. I'm forgetting mm -hmm. what I saw. But um, yeah, and there's also the Audi braking guard. Yeah. Which kinda activates the brakes 
without driver input. If, you, if the vehicle notices you're about to hit a goat, we almost hit a goat back there, and um, <laughs> all the sensors were actually triggered. So uh, it's a very, very interesting system. Very, because I think I didn't, I would invested very much on uh, safety yes. as well as comfort in this unit. Because yes. as you can see in Daniake, it's full leather interior. <laughs> and prime, uh, prime wood. Exactly. And one important thing we've not talked about all the time, uh -huh. that whole time. This guy is actually four wheel drive. It's quattro. Exactly, it's quattro that all wheel drive. All wheel drive, yes. Yeah. So, uh... meaning you can go <laughs> off road with this. <laughs> okay, not, not actually off road. Mm. But if you're driving on wet roads, I'm a man, Rusi, and you got to a market, so I think, yeah. With this Audi, we're out in gear because you have uh, traction and all that. Out of Como, Kanyasi. Something else you've, you've noted, eh? Uh, uh, I have, I've been seeing this de debate on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Four wheel drive and all wheel drive. Oh, yeah, exactly. I drive these cars every day, but I've never known the difference. <laughs> well, I swear I've never known the difference. I think uh, what I can say is that uh, for, the difference between four-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive is that in all-wheel drive, power is sent all four wheels all time. Ah, okay. All four wheels at the same time. Okay. But on the four-wheel drive, it's uh -huh. power is sent to the wheels whenever you want them. Ah, like you okay. switch. It, ah, it's always coming as a because you realize that uh, in Prados, uh, my friends, uh, they are rear wheel drives. And then you have to switch now, get and get the four, and get the differentials, okay. and it locks in the front and the rear axles. Wow. That comes a four-wheel drive. <laughs> Which is it's a debate that I think we should we should do this uh, practically. We should. Should have a Prado or the Patrol that you have. Yeah. The Patrol is a four-wheel drive. Uh, patrol and then <laughs> and the off -road. Yeah. So guys, we have gotten to Namanga, and um, luckily by the way today, much as nilitelewa. <laughs> At least umefika destination kukiwa na muangaza. Jua inawaka. Jua, 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 jua badu inawaka. But it, overall, it's a very nice drive. Yeah. Very, very straightforward. And if you ask me whether a very good, uh, now forget about the cars, like a very good road trip destination to take your, take your mama, take your son, take, take your children, because yeah. it's not too far off from Nairobi actually. Simba, yeah. Um, I think we've done like 130 km. Yeah, 130. Last thought we could get some mama. So considering if we're just coming swish, yeah, an hour and a half. An hour and a half is actually enough yeah. with uh, with if you're driving something as capable as the Audi. Yeah. And um, so far for this one, don't even ask me what the conclusion is. I love Audis. For me, I'm very biased. I'm a very biased man who mm -hmm. loves Audis. <laughs> who who will, who? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But yeah. for me, mm -hmm. the Audi A6 has always been a uh, you know a, a premium choice. Any day, if I, if I don't go back to a saloon, I'm probably going to buy an Audi A6. Or if uh, God blesses me, probably an Audi A8. Eight, yeah. 2020 Audi A8. If I, if, if, if I have to... Uh, to A7. <laughs> we, we're, actually doing, we're actually going to do uh, A7 content very soon. Yeah. SQ5 content very soon. In fact, for this trip, we're supposed to do an SQ5. But um, unfortunately, we got some delays in the port. Yeah. And we couldn't reposition it in Nairobi on time. So, But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Kevo, parting shot. Uh, myself, I'd say that uh, Germans with comfort, reliability, and luxury, basically. Uh, the Audi A6 is a luxury sedan. And Mimi, if I give a score of a rating of 10 on this car, I give it a 9. Because the interior itself is perfect, uh, it's, it's comfortable, it's special as well. So, to me, I'd get an A6 any day. The C7.5, this one. Yeah, this is the C7.5. <laughs> and um, this one is available on sale. I can I can bet you that this is probably the only A6 C7.5 available in Nairobi right now. They've still not started coming in the numbers I expect them to, I expect to see uh, in, the, in the coming months. Mm -hmm. But we're selling this one for 3 million. It's available at Kai and Caro. So please make sure you come to my showroom. Come support us. Yeah. Come give us business. We will give you excellent services. Sure. And um, thanks a lot for watching. But before I go, I think we're going to go to that car restaurant, Pale. Yes. Let's cross over to the Tanzanian side. 
The guy doesn't have plates. <laughs> no, the plates are somewhere here. We've yeah. not strapped them on, but I'm just going to talk to, the, to those border guards, Vizuri. Yeah. We're at Kule lunch, to Ngeleshe Kinahali, more Tanzania, for Kidogo, and then we, then we come back. Yeah. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I really, really appreciate the support. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Na Space Yamagari? Yeah. By the way, Space Yamagari, this past Monday, I kid you not, Kiare was there. Yeah, we had Kiare, Kiare. I swear, Kiare guys were there. <laughs> Actually, so, I'm in talks with the TSA. Eh, so, yes, sir. Uh, next I'm time, maybe, uh, Kevo is going to bring Kiare guys. <laughs> so, Monday, 7 pm, Pale Twitter, Space Yamagari. Yeah. Asante for watching, and Mishkuru Sana. Thank you.